Did I forget something? Okay, so first of all, there are like a lot of stuff to watch. No, no hesitation. Immediately back in action. So yesterday I wasn't streaming as a oh whoa 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 what's the MNS here? A lot of lot of people in this game. Oh MNS and Arya on the same team. Okay, let's immediately jump. Genji pays. Okay, Doran and Trindamir pays on Tristana. So Genji versus the Athenian C9 MNS. Okay, what a game to just immediately jump into. Actually, pretty, pretty hype. <laughs> so, I would just. Uh, so, why is the audio quite low? Hopefully, it's better now. So, I was uh, just turning it on. Yesterday, I wasn't streaming because um, yesterday, uh, the idea of an off day, they weren't playing uh, as much. Maybe they had like a few games, but. Yeah, they weren't really playing. And today they are finally back. Finally back in the solo queue. And they are playing once again. On Team Blue, we have actually, I'm gonna trash. Also, we have Katie Face the Oh, for the pro players. Meanwhile, let me. Okay, I've, I just jumped in. I seen somebody's in a game, so I immediately clicked uh, go without like really setting my. Stop, stop. Meanwhile, oh! This Doran. Doran is in the mirror. Can he get something out of him? Okay, no, no. So, actually, Katie uh, face versus MNS. We had in the middle lane. Take a challenger player. Let me just very quickly get my notepad in front of me because. Uh, first of all. I'm gonna just update some names because we have some more challenge. These are the, the big, big, big names. If I may say so, I'm sorry. I mean, there's there are big, big names. Okay, we have oh my. Okay, let me just let me just write it first and then talk. The Trindamir we have, the Tristana we have, the KP challengers, the uh, face we have as. By the way, that's Rebel, but it's gonna be the Kaista getting the first blood. Nice, nice uh, start for Team Red. Let me just now. I should have done this. I, I, I haven't streamed like one day. And I completely forgot how things work. I just completely forgot. So. That's another team. Other one has a Rebel. With a PvP support. As well as MNS. Yeah. Uh, Arya. This is Johnny. Okay, as Arya is just... I was... I was mentioning him. I just had to mention him. Arya and the Sejuani. Not getting the first... Uh, not on the first one, But like, his first kill in this game. The second for Team Red. As uh, I was saying as well. KT. Oh, there's Rebel who's gonna be playing the Blitz. Hopefully no one... Uh, what's me now? Oh, another one's gonna be going for this. It's gonna be picked up by Rebel. And maybe the guy's a nice series to stun him. Who's, by the way, uh, Pais. Nope, I'm right. But Pais were not able to uh, get him enough damage done. As Team Red is so far killing it. Zack goes into passive mode. As they face the only Akali is here. Now there comes Arya. I mean, that's gonna pick up the kill. And then with Arya's help. And then it's an easy piece trade. So far, no deaths from Team uh, Red, actually. It may, it may change. 1v1 going in. Dora on the tree in the mirror? Nope. Oof. It looked like a. Uh, tree in the mirror wasn't that six. It looked like so. From the course fashion, it definitely looked as if uh, it was this. It was a uh, case. <laughs> so, what just happened now? What just. <coughs> what just happened? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I was opening some tabs and so many things are happening. I'm completely forgetting. 
Okay, so not keep the challenge. But that's what I wanted to check because I wasn't sure if he's still in Katie, but no. He was in Katie, but like he was then uh, transferred to Super Massive, so he is currently free agent. I'm sorry, then the Rebel. Not Kate. I was, cause I, I was like, I, I don't, I think he, he wasn't in Kate Challengers anymore, but that's, that's just right. That was right as Evan is getting his second kill on the Yona. Team Red, man, just totally, absolutely destroying this game. Rebel with a kill. Oh, I, oh my god, Ashley. Look at this. Every single player here has two kills. It may change, though, as Q should be up back soon for Rebel's blue spring. And there, there's the stun, there's the stun, Q is still available, perfect, perfect Q, Rebel picks up another Q. MNS, oh my, M MNS already uh, Blitzkrank, yeah, I just wanted to make sure Blitzkrank has been pinged. <laughs> MNS after Blitzkrank is 302 just started to ping him. It's a Korean player though. Oh my god, can someone die from Team Red? Answer is no. Now level 6 is still far away from Doran. Has now has been charmed, or oh, not charmed, feared I guess. Definitely not charmed from Warwick, but Warwick is getting second. Oh my god, look at those scores. Look at those scores. And obviously, just as a little bit of a payback, now the Zack is pinging the... Currently death <laughs> in the mayor. A lot of lot of pings going on from uh, from their own team. It's my other side actually, which is not surprising. Honestly not surprising. As another kill, Q is just barely missing from the Blitzcrank. But this is already oh my god, look at this in six minutes score is eleven to no nothing. And also something happy use my cat cam should be on but like i don't know why it's not working what is uh, what is the problem here mr internet it's working now do you know what i mean it's working though okay okay it's is it though yeah sometimes a little tiny bit of buggy Yeah, I don't know why it's lagging so much. As Emma is going in, should I even talk about this thing? Oh my god, another one! 14 to nothing! This is just... This is just sad to see. Should be a kill. Kai's is gonna pick it up double. Or are we even surprised at this point? Or are we even really surprised? Absolute total destruction. Oh no. Oh no. Now, can Rebel get a solo kill onto this deck? Very patiently waiting out until um, the, the blue buff, or oh, sorry, red buff is doing the damage. At least the deck can get the, re the red buff. At least. That's something you know has oh Arya is going in actually Arya has the least amount of kills which is like not super surprising from a Sejuani but then even though Blitzcrank has three kills I'm like come on guys you should give some kills to Arya as well come on the worst part is that they can't even FF for like for, for about like how many like seven more minutes Okay, f six. Six more minutes, they can't even FF. I think the, the main question right now is that they're actually gonna go on the, like, a uh, just not dying, you know? MRS is hiding in the bushes. The Trindamere has ultimate steel, so. Never mind. <laughs> Oh my god, Doran. Doran, oh my god. Here's a little bit of fun uh, trivia fact. I think in 2021? 20, or maybe 20, 
What are the E worlds or MSIs or. Okay, at least Miva. Paris has gotten a kill. Paris has maxed 550 shutdown kill. Paris, massive, massive, massive kill. But yes, I think it was 2021. One of the times that I was watching the uh, selection in the US is when every single time I was, oh my god, this one is still not gonna die. What is happening? Rebels. Rebels somehow, okay, a rebel finally died. <laughs> Ultimate has been popped at least now. Aria is trying to kill a face. He's flashing out. This is more just for fun at this point. Uh, I have a feeling that not, none of them are like, really taking the team seriously anymore. I might as well, maybe, maybe Arya in coming in for the rescue. Ultimate up. Oh, sorry, the ultimate went out now, not the previous time I mentioned. Because now, but with the ultimate from the Warwick. Easy peasy. The kill department. Arya is really want to get his own heals. He got enough that even the Blitzcrank has 4 kills. Arya now took up uh, the duty. So, by the way, what I wanted to say about Doran, I wanted to say about something about Doran. Every time I was watching Doran in Europe West, so he, he was like, he didn't have like a bad win rate. It wasn't like he was just a horrible pseudo player. He had like an average win rate, like master, grandmaster or something. But every single time I expected hit Doran, which was like 3 or 3, 4, 5 times about that number. Every single time I expected Doran, he just spent like 0 10 0 some insane scores, like like 10 death without any heal or SDs, like actually just absolutely dreading it down whenever I was expecting him. Somehow found a... Somehow just like whenever I watched him, just like one of those unlucky games. So yeah, it was quite fun every time I was like, maybe, maybe this time Doran is gonna have a great game while I'm expecting. Nope. Never happened. It seems like that curse from uh, like a few years ago still remains in the Korean spectator streams as Doran is not having the greatest time on this stream the mirror right now. Ultimate is not back up. I mean, but the Kaisa. Oh my god! The Kaisa is surviving everything. I mean, everything. Because one death. I'm mean, just gonna pick this one up, but like, come on. Three minutes left, I'm just gonna pour some drinks for myself. I'm just gonna pour some drinks for myself because... I have, a, I have a suspicion the game is not going far beyond the 15 minute mark. Flashing in from the Warwick! Ultimate was just back up for Doran! Doran's first kill in this game. We can finally FF. Everything has been completed from the side missions. We can finally FF. Is Arya missing uh, a little bit of the next mini? Keep the stage to but like I wouldn't... I wouldn't blame him, it's just one of those games when you just, you know, running around, fighting a Tristan as a Sejuani 1v1. You know, just having some fun. Trying to go for the outplays, your next YouTube video. I'm trying to go for one of those, like, sick Chinese TikToks. Sejuani, <laughs> Tristan 1v1. Human Two minutes left from this game. Now, oh, the Tristana. Hey, is maybe getting some more kills? Would he be the first one with two kills on his team? To which the answer seems to be so far no. Milio has been found, even the Blitzcrank is all thing. I thought I can't. Oh, barely couldn't get it, but can't get a. Uh... Actually, never mind. Pay has got a kill. On Rebel. Rebel? Rebel? Oh, I keep saying Rebel, but like Rebel. I guess. Or like. <laughs> What's this rebel? How oh, about mm. this rebel? I didn't even write his name wrong. Right. 
So wait, he's naming you to be Rabble. I was right. I was right, because like in Katie, his name used to be Rabble. Then when, in like the final years, it was Rab. Why, why, why did this happen? I was half right. I was not fully right. His official name right here is Rabble. Okay, seven, one, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, I, I have a feeling we all know what's coming. I just have a few more kills to Team Red to like, cap off this game. Oh yeah, maybe gonna get one? Oh! Travel steal the There it is! Four, 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 four actually, not even five, but it is what it is. GG. Yeah, FF coming true. G G. <laughs> it was expected. What a game to start the stream with. Not the most competitive, I might say. So, why, why is that cat cam sometimes not, not okay? Let me just get to the bottom of this because I'm seeing my cat waking up just now. I think it's like like caching issues or something on OBS. When I'm checking, what's the problem it's always great afterwards who's playing i think everyone still in their own games harp on the blitz crown all right <clears throat> let's watch uh, this time another x kt members blitz crank but it's gonna be the harp <clears throat> I kind of want to talk about Asian games, but <clears throat> okay. It, uh, it seems to be a con, because first of all, I don't have a voice, apparently. <clears throat> Second of all, it just that, um... We have a lot of people in here. I'll just quickly... Very quickly... I'm trying to just look at the look up the teams. Who is who? <laughs> Junzia? Most of you have a thing. Uh, we have also okay, I just this up. How do I how do I how do I do this thing? So we have also We have also on the recon currently Young thing on the recon. So that means the. Uh, oh, wait, this is Junzia playing the. Oh, never mind. Wait, what, what, what is happening? Junzia playing mid lane. Okay, alright, alright. I was like, is it gonna be uh, hard versus Junzia? No. But it's. Uh, yeah. Anyone's legend, Young thing. Support. Playing the recon and that's harp on the blitz crank as well as a uh, seti on the renekton who is now not on the team but used to be so i'm just adding him as well we have quite a few people hopefully no early kills please please We also have ZFF, who is also a Chinese jungler, who used to be in um, Daibo Gaming uh, Yao. I don't think he was a trainee. And finally, we also have a. Uh, on the Kaisa, there's gonna be a professional bot lane. Who is a. Uh, 
vein. Wisdom. Who is gonna be corpse pairing on non sim substitute bot laner? <coughs> non sim substitute bot laner, Vayne. So we have now that we are finally in the game, we can actually concentrate. Oh, there's Lee Sin Q. He's the first one for a Chinese jungler. Chinese least in true to his name. The Chinese least thing is first blood. <laughs> yep, so we have a more or less full pro team except the stylus. Except the stylus, we have a full pro team on the team red side. I mean, like in this elo, it's not that uh, uncommon, anyways. But a person who we all should uh, wear their eyes to is none other than the Blitzcrank played by Harp. I guess I don't know. Harp had an insane Blitzcrank performance. I think two other summer split regular season as well, but like, I think, like, personally, his most uh, memorable moments uh, were in the playoffs. So. He had a pretty, pretty insane Blitzcrank, never, never ever missed the hook. So yeah, his Blitzcrank is definitely uh, a sight to see. Definitely great uh, to watch for anyone. And let's see. Let's see if the case is going to be similar. Looking, fishing for some picks at least. See? Jumping in on the Dejin Zhao and the Silas. And Silas the spawn is hitting Val, Junzia on the mid lane and Tristana going in is one more order oh, right and there you go Junzia gets the first. Now going in on right. Oh there is there is the hook. There is the hook. Never miss. There is the hook. Isn't you at the you shouldn't get national Yeah I'm gonna be honest I don't Uh, like, oh no no it's just cars I was I, I didn't know that like only cars were to substitute someone as I am saying this uh, harp uh, has unfortunately uh, died to the recall but the turn of events Silas came down. And uh, got revenge for him. So I was just checking because I wasn't sure. Oh no, how to be and rest are the top nerds. I wasn't sure if um, if Junji has it. Um, is that the Asian game? No, it just Karsa. And uh, no substitute jungler. So yeah, I can also talk a little. I want to talk. A little bit about Asian games after this game because um, there are some fun stuff to do. Meanwhile, all right, Akali, the one with Uno. Okay, okay. A at least there's a trade kill. Yeah, that was just a double for Akali. That is a mental breaker for the enemy team. So far, it's, it's, it's fine. Oh no, Team Red Button is in trouble. Actually, Kaisa gets a kill on the Recon after uh, he was uh, pulled. He was pulled by uh, this crank. Actually, considering that was like a. Was it like a stream and dive or something? It's fine that he got away with just that. Yeah, I think it's more than fine. Great job, Harp. Great job. Yeah. 
Honestly, I've always taken Asian games as toughs and like also Edpa I haven't seen, I haven't seen it. I see Recap had a stream which is um I definitely should watch and post about it, but I haven't watched the whole thing. I just kinda like checked out parts, I haven't watched the whole thing. I guess like it's 10 minutes, so we could technically just do it in stream now. I guess, but I don't know if you would wanna watch 10 minutes of random talking notes. I'm not necessarily sure how copyright works, like watching another tweet stream while on Twitch. Is that even been an allowed? I mean, uh, I'm sorry for the last uh, half an hour I was too loud. I'm just checking my levels. I think it may have been a little loud. Yeah. Honestly, I don't... Um, they don't speak, so I guess like equal loudness is fine. Oh, Harv goes in. Q should be available. That's why uh, the Zara can't pairing is so afraid. Q, Q should going in. There is a stun on the Rakan. Rakan alt. Alt is not available just yet for Harp. But it seems so. Not a problem as no kills have been granted. Oh, there is the Q! There is the Q! Q into auto. Nice kill for Harvest. They're getting dove. So, can they turn it around? Can they turn it around? It seems to be no double kill for the Kaisa. In the return in the middle, there is a kill for the Salas. The bot lane double kill for the Zaya. Yeah, unfortunately, the dive is quite clean. Not much you can do against that at that point. Unfortunately, that's how it works. Okay, now back to the game. We are quite equal in terms of kills. Uh, it's like tower, yeah, 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 because uh, we, it was off screen, but the uh, team blue destroyed uh, one of the towers in the mid lane. So they are heading gold for sure, but there's like no big differences. I'm only here to watch corpse pools. I'm all here for this. Oh my god, the Jarvan is. The Jarvan is always here. Especially even Junzi as uh, Tristana is now. Uh, rotating down. Yeah, they, they're probably gonna get the first dragon. They are always there. Harp is getting massively focused down. <laughs> oh! Junzi versus the Silas. Are they gonna get those once another again? How many times it is? How many times Costa get one? Or are they gonna get two? They're still alive, maybe. Maybe the constant diving. Finally! Finally! Finally the how how is it called? There's the not not the I wanna say cashback, but no, it's like there's a revenge for all those dives. Lisa and Silas now massively fed. Look at them. Lisa is also probably gonna get his uh, first big item. I'm, 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 uh, I'm sensing the mythic is inbound if they get the. Oh no, Silas is not getting the plate, I guess. Alright, only Lisa is going to get them. Oh, you see? Wait, is even with the only the herald is there? I'm actually not 100% sure about it. There is ever frost. There is ever frost for the Silas. Now he can go to one of those combos. Go in stun into another stun. Into chunking down half her HP. Into stealing a recon ultimate, so that's another stun. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, Sal is actually gonna be pretty scary. Dunsi is trying. At least now there comes Harp. There's a stun. Oh, the Q missed. No, not misses, but let me flash out from. Yeah, drink. <laughs> Team Red is actually doing quite well now. Well, going for the dives over and over again just bites back and them. Um, Oh my god, everyone is coming from Team Red. There is Hackless from Harp. Stony is there! Nicely done. Maybe uh, Steady is next on getting the kill. Is Team Red is still here? No, oh my god, no, 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 no. Renekton, you are not strong enough for that. Maybe the Jarvan getting the kill, but also Junji with another. Junji has been. Chunking them down. Not a good trade. No, no, no. You look great until most of Team Blue's delegate has arrived. off time I also want to talk about the Asian games because as I said there is the there is a stream from the recap that I want to watch eventually but from from the parts I've seen oh can the least in Kaisa Kaisa and Harp Harp oh Harp goes down trade kill can the least in Q hit by the stack oh going into the bush but the Q is not hitting and this may be dangerous if the desire uh, turned around. Or is still going? So oh, there's Unzia. Sorry. Oops. I don't know what's wrong. I'm, I'm gonna just take a minute. I'm gonna take one of my medicines. I have like a really good coughing medicine. Because my throat is dying. I have a really, really good coughing medicine, but I, I couldn't find it ever since I went to France. I don't think I, br I, don't think I brought it to France. That's a problem. I, didn't, I don't think I brought it to France, but I, I couldn't find it when I got home. So it's kind of just like lost in the ether. I have no idea where it is. I have another one, but it's not for me. Five hundred medicines. I I have no idea how. I just don't find the one I need. Oh my god, it's here! It's literally in. Oh my god! I put it in the box of my other 
Like, not super good one. I was like, I'm gonna bring both of them. Front. I didn't in the end, but I was like, I'm gonna bring both. So just put it in the box of the last... Oh my god, I'm so stupid, man. Can't believe it. And I can't believe that Team, team Blue is now winning. Pronecton is super slow, but somehow Cole is the first one going down. No, me and Alzaya. I mean, already two. Can she keep going? Can she? Oh, well, the Kaisa got one. That's a triple actually from Kaisa, but Dunzi are getting listed. Penta is not inbound anymore. Kaisa are just too, too, too fed at this point. Searching for this medicine for so long, and I was like, but I never, uh, never crossed my mind that it would be in the box of another one. It just reminds me that I shouldn't ever do this. Shouldn't ever do this again. I'm gonna separate them. <laughs> Bad idea. A little bit of a, a little bit of an audience for a little while, while uh, I'm just chewing on on this. Hot chocolate has retweeted me. Amazing. The entrance. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Asian games after this game because uh, first of all, I don't want to just scream all the time, and I want to talk about Asian games because it's coming up. It's like in two days, the first uh, games are for Japan for esports. Delegation of Japan. So yeah, I, I wanna talk a little bit about Asian games. So that was a surrender vote from Team Red. I mean, I think they are losing, but I'm not sure surrender vote must losing. <laughs> Uh, okay, Winston is getting code out. Automat may just save him. Great, great, great. On to Renekton. Flashing in. Oh, Harps unfortunately misses. Oh, no, there is. Uh, oh, yeah, the Everfrost. It's cranked. One of those. I guess like it's not. doesn't count as off meta. Usually, but I don't, is it? I, I see a lot of Everfrost this room, so I don't count it as one. I mean, I don't know how this. I have no idea how this Q hit from this crank. That was some dark technologies. Team Red, though. I mean, oh, Kaisa with the alt after listing followed up the Q ultimate from the Zaya. A lot of feathers if someone would want to get caught up into that. No one. Flashing out and it. So far, oh my god, harp, 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 are gonna go in. Oh, actually, it was quite close. Wait, Zaya had to flash away from that. It was quite, quite, quite close. Now, round two, flashing in. Silas flashing in. He's gonna be released and getting the double kill. That's like a delay this for Team Red, and I was just seeing how they have no chance of winning. I was just seeing how they're losing. But I was right. I, I was right that it's not a, a surrender vote very losing because look at it. They're back in the game. They're knocking on the Baron and seemingly with no chance from a team blue to contest this. Though they're gonna contest the dragon. Which is uh, actually may maybe interesting in the future. As well, team red now takes the Baron. Definitely a great uh, deal at the moment. Meanwhile, uh, Team Blue is taking the dragon, which is gonna be their third one. They're in cloud soul point now. The cloud soul point is maybe gonna be scary in a few, in a few minutes, a few more tens of minutes. Um, 
This game should go on for a little longer. I'm just checking how others are doing. Others are in queue. Harp is gonna get this one. But others are also in queue from the FM. Uh, they had a day off yesterday. They were back in screaming today. I was talking about this before, but they are basically having this. Uh, actually, I, was, I, I had a video about this. I just had a video about this talking about. I, I wanted to make it like 10 minutes long. I'm gonna be honest. When I started the video, I was like, just gonna be a quick one, 10 minutes, edit it down. Fine. And, and I was just. When I finished, I saw the little timer on my camera. It said like 40 minutes, and I'm like, oh my god, this is not. I tried editing down. I cut out some parts which were not that interesting or fun. Cut out some parts. I made sure that I like. Sometimes I like to repeat things a little. You know, just to make it more sense. I cut down even those, cut down some explanations. I, I just barely got it under 20 minutes. Just barely got it under. I was not able to chunk down any more. Like from the things that I wanted to say. I mean, I, I left in some story time. I left in some like, I left in some things that of course I could have cut down. But I, I just, I felt like they were good for the pacing. So, yeah, in the end, the video ended up being a little under 20 minutes. But I think it's worth watch if you're interested in the FM and maybe didn't follow the FM too long. I made chapters that I talked about once again. Basically, every time I'm talking about the FM, I have to somehow, like a little, just a tiny bit, explain the, the whole thoughts thought drama. I have to explain, like, with the poem playing top in the finals. I have to explain, like, yeah, but it's not gonna be like the final roster. So I have to like always explain it because I'm making the videos about the FM, expecting that some people may just watch the videos who don't really know much about the FM. I don't expect people to, to just watch my hour-long drama explanation video in order to watch the next one. I like to have my videos as open for everyone as possible, especially around the world. I mean, when I make videos about LGL, usually I'm assuming that you guys know LGL. But when I'm making videos about like international tournaments or something, I, I tend to more assume that people who are watching that are new to LG and the, new to the new DFM. Yeah. What if you want to watch the video? Because I, I still think it has some interesting parts, like screams, etc. You can still, you can still um, uh, view it because it has chapters, you just skip. If you know about Upam and if you know about Vivid, just skip the first chapter and straight into the screen box. I think the second chapter is called. So, yeah, chapters are really making it easy on YouTube. Just be able to also explain things, but someone doesn't need an explanation, just they can just skip ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, there is a pretty big weather, pretty bad weather here. Really not great. And from what I've seen, in, even in Hanzo, uh, the weather was not great. It was raining in the morning. This is gonna pick up a streaming. In the arena, it seemed fine, honestly. It seemed like an open arena. But the weather seemed better at least. Okay. Nice Koda, but oh, there comes Team Blue with a lot of damage and already one kill. Run to horror, but seem to be Team Red Me. Take this one. Damage from Lee Sin and the status is just way too much in the end game. Oh the okay, German is going for some extra kills. Randy what seems to be up. Yeah, enough of the Enough of the jokes, enough of the plays. Teleporting in these things should be able to stop. Yeah, they are stopping from recalling. A draw on me just ball back to base. Seems like he just gave up. It seems to be he just gave up recalling, but for nothing. GG's! Harp has won! Yes! Just a success. Nice job on the Blitz crank, obviously. 
So if they are in the not not like in the early games, how much are they Oriana? I guess. Who's in that game? What is happening in this game right now? So, oh my god. Oh my god, we have, we have, we have some KP. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So, what, what is happening? Let, let me just... Five minutes in and we have 10 kills. <laughs> what is happening? Arya doesn't have a kill. Seems to be like a little bit of a top lane differential. Oh, just up. Just as I'm doing it. Need one more auto deck. One more auto deck. No, no kills. No kills already just yet. Yeah. Aria. So, what is happening here? I, I sense some disturbance in the top lane as we have um, a pace playing jungle, actually. Not doing the best, but somehow the top lane call is also in in interesting as the record is all 3 0. Okay, what is happening there? Needle is 3 0. So I expect the, the jungler, who is by the way, Kaz, Katie okay, Kaz, is the one who's responsible for a lot of that from Recon. That's what I'm assuming. And uh, Birdle, Birdle, who, who used to be memed on from on, on the sandbox, is a 3 0. What is the rest and great start? Because we have Aria, BFM yeah, Aria, versus. Queen from a hundred thieves. Who is, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna still play there next year. People keep hearing a lot of stuff. But Arya unfortunately just went down as Zeri was rotating top. But can Team Red get something in return on the bot side as Queen is burning down? The one who gets the kill is gonna be Paul Yu, who's also a pro player. Bro, Paul Yu, bro challengers, Paul Yu. I can also bring up just the little. Oh, oops. The little tool I have from uh, the chat. Let's see what is Arya up to. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, oh, that's, that's a pace, AD carry. Oh, no, not AD carry, graves. I was like, yeah, okay. I remember I said pace, whatever. Okay, okay. It's time, it's time, it's time. If you have everyone important here, I mean, I'm sorry. Oh my god, that sound is so bad. Mm. It is fine. Let me just share this. Well, meanwhile, Birdle, another one! Another one. Not the greatest day for this poor uh, calling. Another, another one. Meanwhile, I'm just taking a screenshot very quickly mm. for share on the social or socials of the medias. Please, when I'm typing, don't don't do anything. Please. Why is my OBS? My OBS is not working. What? Oh no, my Windows is bugged. Okay. Can does Zeri get the kills? Oh, I really hope not because Zeri has been getting strong. Mila Nidal gets the kill. Birdo gets the solo ball on the top. Mila Nidal is the double. Cause absolutely popping off. I'm gonna be very quick before anything else happens. <laughs> very quick also. Oh my god, YouTube, YouTube. the YouTube link is always super hard to get. I have to go to the dashboard and copy from there. I, I just hope, I mean, I share this link and then like. Five minutes, the FF. I hope it's not gonna happen. It'll be heartbreaking. <laughs> heartbreaking bound if that happens. Okay. I 
reset everything. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Team Blue heavily winning. Arya still doesn't have a kill though. We are watching this for Arya. Unfortunately, no kills. Don't just yet. Please, Arya. Please, Arya, give me some kills. I mean, he doesn't. Mid lane is not the most impactful in this game. If I may say so. <laughs> yeah, it seems like mid lane is not the. Uh, Really popping off the top lane and the jungler show weirdly. Rarely you see that like the top lane actually just five one to renect and carry by Birdle. As a uh, cost is getting the kill on the call. Akali is not having a great game. To my knowledge, no pro player. Not a pro player. We have some pro players in this game, so give, give, give it to them. But yeah, that. Definitely not the greatest showing, if I may be honest. As um, Graves is, by the way, played by a uh, Pays. So, fleshing out into safety. I just want. After the lane phase is over. No items really for Arya, though. Maybe this time around, no. <laughs> Give at least an assist to Arya, please. Oh, there's a flash. There's a flash. Super low. Extremely low. Aria is around. Come on. Come on. Wait for Aria, please. They're so low. Oh, whoops. Queen at least is gonna get one kill. They were waiting too much. Trying to go for these kills. They felt like they are. But to get them, Aria. Ultimate is available, there is! Oh, flashing in to kill Pays Graves. Nice flash. Ultimate is still not used, so there is this chance that we see some. Um, how, how does this even the ultimate code? Wow, it, it has been used so much. I mean, there are like this like, very, very famous ultimates. Called Equalizer, everyone knows it's called Equalizer. We have the rel oh la pull use rel coming in can he turn it around oh there's the flash from Zeri unfortunately just Tano is dead the rel may follow along unless unless Nidalee is here seven oh Nidalee with a nice harvester can this Nidalee get even more one for a cause looking for the nine Double kill, nine kills for a cause. Wow. The Renekton Nidalee, man. There's such a throwback. And maybe we're gonna actually see this at Worlds once again. Yay. There's such a throwback seeing the, the Renekton Nidalee. So many times we've seen in LPL, as I was talking about. And trade between Arya and Quid. Again, this is a... A weird game. Usually the top laners. Oh my god. Birdle. 1v2. 1v3. Birdle gets the kill and still not dying. Please. If Birdle somehow is not dead here. Oh my god. Birdle. Oh my god. Birdle double kill. Birdle double kill in a 1v3. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god. Actually, this was Kaz who got the kill there. The little bit of a tip of the spear. Why is the Renekton carrying this game? This is just this is pure throwback to like one of those like LPL Renekton Nidalee early game absolute stomp comps. Mid lane doesn't matter. Bot lane doesn't matter. It's pop and jungle baby. Okay, that's Zeri backs to defer. As Zeri uh, got a kill, but there comes Cause. There comes Cause. Still alive, actually, even having the the Magi's now. Oh my god, Zeri is dead! I was so sure Tristan is dead here. Oh, Cos is not afraid even with the Magi's wound himself. 25, 24! 24 stacks, only one stack remaining from the full stack Magi's. 12 kills on him. What? 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 What is happening? What is happening? Yeah, yeah, this game is over. 
I have a hunch of a feeling that this game is ending. Uh, and I mean, uh, I'm gonna stay at a 15. I'm not 100% sure. Like, Zeri is like, not doing bad, you know. Dracon, yes. Zeri, not really. As maybe this is gonna be the one that decides of it all. Rakan is already down, and Quid gets one kill, and Zeri is also dead. Oreo is the one taking down Quid in the end. And yeah, FF, FF 15. Yeah, I was I was questioning if maybe the Zeri wants him after an ugly, ugly fight. Yes. It is FF 15. It is G G. Everyone else is in queue, I think. So let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Why is my why is everything lagging? Yes, they are in queue. Now this is the perfect time. Finally, we are rating every like Aria. I mean, up I'm using game, but it's like thirty minutes, and I don't like watching like games that are, like super. Like 30, 10 minutes in or something. So we're gonna hold our horses for a second. Let me just uh, introduce some of the Asian Games content. So, in case you don't know, Asian Games uh, opening ceremony happened like a few hours ago. Happened a few hours ago and Team Japan was there. Unfortunately, I was up I uploaded on Twitter because I'm like, yeah, that's just, that's just Twitter. So I uploaded on Twitter the Team Japan's uh, entrance, this one. I don't think I can show it on stream as uh, it is. Um, as it is just um, just a footage from a uh, CCTV5, which is copyrighted material, obviously. It's an actual TV channel. So it is a TV channel that I, I uploaded on Twitter because Twitter rules are somewhat loser. Not, not like loser. I mean, it is. Actually, it is loser in all, all meanings of the word. But the thing is, I absolutely don't Twitter because I was like, should be fine there, Japan's entrance. But there are also some uh, POVs, which are fun to go through. Obviously, I'm uh, uploading on the, the G Sport Hub Twitter. You know, uploading on the Gsport Hub Twitter. If uh, there is anything interesting happening, I want to keep updating on Asian games as well. I think like I think everyone can watch the League of Legends part at least. I don't think that's gonna be behind the TV channels. I know at least on Huya, which is like a Chinese uh, platform. I know it's gonna be on Huya. Mm, um, this part you could only watch with the. Like Chinese or Taiwanese or some some somewhere there IP, so I had to use my uh, Taiwanese IP, uh, Taiwanese VPN to watch the opening ceremony. But uh, the League of Legends part is uh, I think available for everyone. So I'm, I'm fairly certain that part is gonna be available for everyone to watch. But there there were some. Um, Part this is when they were still waiting. Okay, that's gonna be quite loud. Why is the oh my god is doing this thing again? Why the audio is not working? It's doing this thing again. Okay, let me let me I guess. Let me change my sound. I don't know why it does this. I mean, it should be there, right? Why is it? Why are you different? Why is my Firefox different? Is that just like a... What? Is it possible that my Firefox is like different from a... Other browsers? Sound. There's no sound. Audio. It's 
speaker permission, but like, yeah, I don't understand it fully. I don't understand like, why it's not on the... Do I need to like exit or something? Oh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use my... My normal browser. Where is the Twitter, Twitter, Twitter? Okay. I'm just gonna use Chrome. Fine. Fine. So, what I wanted to show you is um, we also had some. We also had some POVs. Everyone was uh, recording. The stadium was insane. Like, you can see in the videos, like, it was insane. So many people were there. And just, like, massive, massive performance. It was really insane. I just recommend watching it. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Somehow find your way to watch the entrance ceremony. <laughs> I don't know how how you could watch like legal. I don't, I don't think it's on YouTube. Though it should be. Anyway, this is how it looks like from the people's view. This is empty. Everyone was recording. This is when they were still waiting to just go in. I think like which which country was there? I think like either I think Iran was before Japan. Iraq. But yeah. So basically, that this is like there is a huge 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 today is this one. Where they're like going in this direction and like going through that. That's when the camera was waiting. And the Jap Japan was just waiting here, waiting for, for like other teams to go. I think this is uh, Iran who's going. And now Japan. Now Japan is the one on the big, 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 like little, like way. Japan is going on that way. All oh, those are people, all those are viewers around. This. Oh no, this is in Indonesia? You can see me and G in the J. Wait, what? Victory says what? Whatever. I, I I don't I don't know. Then the text here are showing something different. Then yeah, it was a uh, esports esports players in the arena. It says a recap. They were uh, walking. Here's everyone. All the esports delegation people. From uh, League of Legends, Le League of Legends people, fighting people, PUBG people, and also like yeah, this is this is Iran. So the Iran was before them, I think, like maybe one or two before Japan, but they were still waiting. They were already waiting here. They were already waiting here. It's from uh, Mago's tweet. They were already waiting and then started the little entrance whenever they said, No, comes Japan. Yeah, there, there, there. Yeah. Everyone just sharing basically the same POV. That, you can watch this like in a lot of POVs. I, this is like, honestly, I haven't really seen too many events when you can watch something from that many POVs. <laughs> but that was the official one that I shared. And you can just watch like every single person. Everyone's recording because like obviously it's a big event for them. I'm like, I would record it if I was there, obviously. Azir, are you? Okay, let's just watch that one then. Obviously everyone was recording. I, was, I would also record if I was there. Everyone was recording. Like, it was massive. Like, the stadium is massive. Like, huge massive. Super massive. I, I can't even really fathom how big it, I, I can't tell how big it was. It was just really, like, just watching the video was really insane. Then, uh, Desu, G, Esu, I actually don't even know what is their official pronunciation. G, G, E, S, U, because, like, uh, Nihon Esports, it's like a Japanese esports, you know? But it's, uh, I don't know, G Sport is a better name. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, they, these are just all the same pictures sometimes. Like, sometimes they just, like, one of them take the picture and just sends to others. You know? This was uh, Korea. Uh, like, a few countries after Japan. So, was there, this is, like, their little booth here. And I'm guessing, like, they were still going home at this time. It is really, really fun to watch, I have to say. The game is not loading, meanwhile. Please. Kaboom. Uh, so yeah, definitely was, um, which is great, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched like every single entrance, I watched Japan, I shared Japan and then I had some things to do, but I'm very happy, very happy to see all of them, all their smiling faces, Rayfark used the, cause like, okay, there, there is this fun story, so there, there was like this entrance, there was this entrance, and uh, it's like not the best quality because obviously I had to use the VPN and like uh, even like on the Huya it's like not HD it's, it's by far not HD the quality they were streaming in so I had like it's not the best quality you know what I mean and uh, I was trying to like look for the esports like the esports delegation I was looking ar around the people Rayfark is by far the easiest to notice <laughs> It's like, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter where, who, where, like, Ray Farky is someone you can always notice, like, always, always notice. He is very, very noticeable. Oh my god, what do we have in here? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Aria versus Wikla. Now, the storylines, the possible storylines here are limitless. We also have team mid lane on... <laughs> we have team mid lane on, on, on team red, because um, Aria is playing us here. Yeah, let, let, let me just first of all bring up the, the list. We also have MP. Oh my god, well, let me just... Let me just update Team Blue first because we have some more things to uh, say. We have Imp. Yes. Such legendary Imp. Is playing. And we have Loopy as well. This is a full pro team then. Okay, okay. It is actually a full pro team then. So we have on the top lane. Birdos. The top lane we have Burlos Cassante. Then we have a uh, hundred years squids Viego who's a top lane who's a mid laner but now had to play a jungle. We have then Aussiers. Aussiers, sorry, Arya's Aussier, who is a mid laner and actually got mid lane. Wow. And then MNS who's a mid laner but got AD carry. <laughs> and finally we have uh, the DK challengers. Okay, meanwhile, Arya's are already being ganked. He heals just yet. DK Challenger, Loopy is also playing, um, well, to run a pro, full pro team, full pro team versus the legendary Imp on the Twitch, and Vikla, who most recently does not even fly Vikla anymore, I forgot, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Vikla, I forgot, so, Let's jump into this game. Okay, full pro team. <laughs> TSM, team solo mid. Almost solo. Three mid laner. Three mid laner there. Oh, okay. Quid on the Viego. Is going in onto the Vex. And it is gonna be uh, the Viego getting the first blood. It's already immediately retreating onto MNS. Uh, the kill on the other side is going to J4. So yeah, we have so many, so, so, so many 
things to talk about here is okay Birdle is now getting you know, kind of chunked down again I oh, Birdle that is again I had this I had this curse that whenever I was watching Birdle he was going like super 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 like zero ten super bad scores last game Birdle was absolutely caring that I was watching him so the curse seems to be broken as Loopy flashing into the stun onto him now MNS back him the spears are not there just yet, considering not even level 3 on the Kaliste. As uh, Arya versus Vikla again. Very historic matchup. <laughs> Very historic matchup that we kind of have seen IRL. Arya versus Vikla has been definitely a thing. Now with level 3, there comes the spears. Alright, Quida is being chunked down as Birdle is arriving though. There is the stun. Or not stun, actually, just slow, I would assume. Amazing Q into Jarvan dead. Now, uh, Jarvan, who is actually uh, Quid's Diego, dies. Now, are you dealing some damage to the Poppy, but should be another kill onto Birdle, who is unfortunately gonna suffer his second death in this game. Meanwhile, uh, finally a kill. Uh, for Vikla. Arya is in trouble. Arya is in massive trouble. The damage is there. Another kill for Vikla. Vikla directly kills Arya's Azir. Unfortunate situation. Stun coming. Go on to the recon. Recording for now. Actually, Team Blue is doing so much better, right? I haven't really realized because there were so many back and forth, but every single one of them, Team Blue was uh, coming out victorious. They are definitely doing better. But against the full pro team, I trust in them. I trust in them. As? Maybe Birdle, maybe can get the solo ball onto the Poppy. Would really need it. As there is a stun! Oh no, one more Q and would be enough for the kill. But what is the camera doing? So that means no kills. Thanks for the spoiler, camera. Thanks for the spoilers. I was totally expecting the kill to be here. Now Birdle, oh there is the third aggro with no shots. There is one more Q. Okay, oh, okay, no, not even a trade, not even a trade, Birdle goes down, no. The curse is back. Birdle goes down to no trade. So many pings, I have no idea what they're trying to convey. Definitely trying to convey something at least. Aria keeping Vex away. Who is Bikla? Again. Now... Diego may be in trouble. Even though they have the Oh never mind, Vic is here. I was about to say they have the man advantage, but Vic is Vex Vic Vex is because Imp is getting the first kill. On to quid and perfect timing. Riot games. Perfect timing um, to just see in for, for a few more seconds, wait. On the loop is Rail goes down and Team Blue gets away with once again, no death. Massively successful the hate, I, I guess. That's what I should say against the uh, quid. Arya with the ultimate going and on to Vigla, Vigla flashing him. Just followed by Arya's own solo bolo. Finally, Arya's first kill in this game. Finally. We have been waiting for this. We have been waiting for this for so long. It finally happened. As now Birdle is low, but a little bit of help from Quid's Viego may help. Poppy though is quite strong now. I, I sure hope that the two of them can still kill the Poppy. 
Okay, ultimate from Poppy comes out, but Poppy is so low, and I don't think she really has more tools. No, that is much closer than it should have been. What do I expect from three on Poppy's 300 shot? Dango is actually going forward. B. B. Uh, Viego. I'm learning to read Korean. Viego, yeah. Meanwhile, by the way, I'm an S also got a kill. So now every single member except Birdle, except Birdle, except Birdle. But most people now have a kill from Team Red. As they also took lead in gold. They are on the verge of uh, actually taking this game back. The shutdown gold for uh, Kid Viego was nasty. As Arya is just chunking down those plates. Trying to uh, somewhat pressure the vest. Who, who got this uh, Herald here? Herald goes down, but it, I think it's, yeah, it, it's, it's actually uh, the Viego got it, but unfortunately he goes down. At least the Herald is his. So now Papa versus Cassante. We have seen this one with one before and it wasn't favorable for Birdle. Is anything gonna change this time around? Who doesn't seem less so maybe with the turret helps. Arya is in trouble. Just barely dodges the stun as Arya goes in for the 1v2. Now there's the help from Rel. The stun is not going through no stun, but still still goes for deaths and kills. Everything stays the same. A few summoner spells may have been used, but I'm looking. I don't know. None of them. None of them. Ultimates have been used, but not summoner spells, actually. So, in the end, I guess, like, that's, that's, that's fine. -ish. I would have loved more if the Arya just got the kills. Okay. Imp just murders MNS. MNS was. I mean, he didn't really have any spells, so. Ravels away. Not much the Kalista can do in that situation. But well, secretly, Imp is now 2 0 2 on the tweet. There's another gang, maybe? Maybe another gang? I don't think it's diveable. I don't think it's diveable. A loopy on the rail is definitely thinking about which direction he should go. Oh. Meanwhile, oh kiss. Oh, Imp with another one. Wait, didn't the, didn't MLS just die right now? Oh, there's the flash from Birdle. Oh, damn it! The all out is happening as the camera pans away, which uh, kind of spoils the ending. That there's not gonna be a kill. There's all my from J4. As all out with the quid, but quid still goes down. So many low health bars, but Arya with the first, Arya with the second! Double for Arya as well goes down, but Arya may get a triple. Imp has to run away from Arya. So far it's somewhat of an equal trade. As soon as the camouflage is over. Or maybe Imp is the one getting the kill! Actually it's a trade, it's trade. Delayed triple kill for Arya, but in exchange, it's gonna be Imp with his own. And actually, this is just so much better for Arya, look at this. 300 shot and gold for Arya because Imp had, Imp had like 5 kills so yeah that's like Arya got another kill which is like an unofficial quadra in terms of gold so yeah massive massive win for team red and especially Arya here as I don't know how much of a win it is because uh, I mean Imp is still gonna be strong there's a little more gold income for Arya so all, all eggs in the Aria basket right now. Crowd is completed for two and two. Ultimate is just a little, little, a uh, few minutes, one minute to one few seconds. That's, I was looking for words there. <laughs> just a few seconds away from being back up, and I, I, I suspect there's gonna be a, a dragon fighter. So maybe uh, bells on the top in and. As per usual, no kills are happening. They're both playing a lot safer after three kills were donated to the early game. Now, Arya! Oh my god, the shuffle on the trap! Arya should get a kill from here! 
dodging some of these. Oh my god, so close, so close, getting the Vex, but no kills for Arya. Nasty shuffle inside the J4 ultimate. Arya flashing it and gets the kill onto Vikla. Meanwhile, Imp is... Arya dies. First of all, and then Imp is also getting his own kill. I should even make more. Imp is a... Flashing him, which is followed by Eminence's own flash. Yeah, once again, okay, Team Blue may Team Blue may be winning this one. Okay, Eminence dodging, Eminence dodging. How long can he? Apparently this long. Hello, Al. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. What a time to join in. I was suspecting that Team Red was doing well, but... The last two minutes were not super like, good fate for my belief. <laughs> Team Blue really, really just pushing this game. Okay, Vikla, oh, that's Vikla. I haven't even. Oh, some I thought was still Poppy. That's Vikla now on the top lane against Birdle. It is definitely not great for Team Red. Oh, Imp? Wait, what? I guess MNS with the 1 4 Kalista was fine. Just letting him pre go. He was like, Yeah, Imp, you can, if you really want to go back, you can. We're gonna leave you alone with your six skills. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Even Imp was uh, question marking this exchange. He was quite surprised as well. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, La. Yeah, I, I was, I was, oh my god, the video was, oh my god. So, I was like, I want to make a video, and uh, maybe I'm going to talk a little bit more about this team fight that seems to be breaking down. Now, Vex is going in, but no kills so far. Team Blue has used a lot of ultimates, and there is the Rel ultimate inside. Rel gets a kill. Meanwhile, the dragon goes into Team Blue, as there is a stun. Arya, 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 please! Arya almost goes down! Arya is though! Yeah. The damage is MNS may get his own kills in this fight as well. They're stacking, they're stacking, they're stacking. Poppy is close to Arya, but Arya kills the Poppy! Team Red is back! Let's go! Let's go! Team Red is back! Amazing. The pro team is actually back. The full pro team. TSM actually, I should call them TSM because we have Quid, Aria, and MNS. Three mid laners. Actually, three mid laners in one team. <laughs> actually, TSM, Team Solo mid. There's another one for Quid, Diego. So, the thing is uh, about the video. So, yesterday, because DFM had an off day, DFM was on a break. They didn't scream, they didn't play solo queue that much. So, I, did, I didn't really have anything to stream. And that's why I was like, I'm gonna make this video because I, I want to have like a summary. People have been asking me like, do I know anything about the screams? Do I know anything about the roster? And I was like, I, I know, but it's, it's not easy to explain. Like, it's like something that I can't just be like, this is the roster. It's more like I need to explain things. So I was like, I think it's better to make a video. So I sit down, I sit down. I'm like, I want to have like a 10 minute video. I want to have like a, a edit it down a 10 minute video. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. And uh, when I was, I finished the video, I was like, okay, I talked everything I wanted about. Check the, I checked the little timeline on my camera. It says 40 minutes. I was talking for 40 minutes. I'm like, there is no way I can get this to 10 minutes. There is no way I can get this to 10 minutes. Okay, and there is no way the team Red can escape from the Jordan Ultimate. Is the kills for Imp and Vikla. Arya is strong, but I don't think they can win this uh, 2v3 now here. They should just be careful. So, whatever. I was, I was like, 40 minute recording time. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna edit this down. I tried super hard. I cut out some parts, but I was like, okay, this is not that important. I cut out some parts. I was condensing them super much. I'm like, just push this as short as possible. I was just 
barely able to get it under 20 minutes. So I'm like, okay, 20, I got it under 20 minutes. Fine. I still would have liked if it was a uh, 10. Oh, everyone has to do want me for against Vigla. Okay. Nice level. I don't know what the Zonia's was for. But whatever. Oh, MNS! MNS! Oh, never mind. Almost. Actually, it was so close. Actually, it was so close. But Drawburn is probably dying here. I don't think Drawburn has any health. Who's gonna get this kill? Aria, Aria, Aria. Ah, oh, that's gonna be keep with Zvego getting the kill. So, yeah, video was really fun to edit. Really, it was it's really fun to record. It just... I, I, I talked way too much. I talked way too much. And then the editing process is much harder because it took so much time to edit it down to like something more consumable format as imp is now with nine kills that that's the only thing i want to talk about the video so now i can go back to the game talk about this solo few game imp has nine kills what the twitch is like getting a few kills in every single team fight and i haven't even really noticed him like getting so far ahead of the mns I guess it is what it is, is with Vex coming in Birdle, probably facing uh, his fourth kill in this game. Try to juke it around unsuccessfully. It is what it is. I trust in Arya. I definitely trust in Arya. We need to see those shuffles in the team fight. Going for the shuffle around. I need to see those. I need to see them, man. All right, another team fight is brewing up. That was good enough. I, mean, I tried, I tried, I really tried to get it to like the right length. Oh, oh my god, such an engage from Rel. We'll talk about a video later as we might see the last team fight of this game. Unfortunately, Rel goes down. So is Arya. Even on the third team, Blue just seems to win this fight. Only Birdle left alive and not for too long. And as they are over 20 minutes, as they are over 20 minutes, I have a feeling, yeah, there it is. There it is. I, my hunch was right. Surrender vote comes in. And it is an FF from Team Blue. Team Blue, Team uh, Red. Did you see? See? So, yeah. What I wanted to talk. Actually, I'm gonna boost you. So, yeah, the video was. I tried to have it like a good pace. I tried to have it a good pace. I think like, the time is uh, quite long if I'm. If I'm being totally honest, I think the time, like, I really wanted to have just, like, a 10-minute one when I was... Maybe I'm gonna have the 10-minute one before Worlds, because I, I wanna have, like, another one. I'm gonna for Red and will be on Twitter. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what's not, that was my goal. Just because, like, I wanted to have... Also, have, that's why I have chapters, because I know, like, for example, if someone watches LJ all the time, they know about all the drama, they know why Vivi and Appleman joined. So they know all about that. That's why I have a chapter, so if you know what happened before, you can just skip... But if someone doesn't know, if I'm talking, like, when I'm making, like, the LGL videos, I don't explain as much background, because if you're watching a video about LGL, I would assume you're somewhat familiar with LGL during the season. But if you're watching a video about LGL or DFM during Worlds, I, I expect that you don't know much about DFM, which is fine. That's why you're watching this video. So, I expect people to like, know less about the team. That's why I really want to explain a little more like for example i still keep talking about like hey have you heard that by the way the Tulsa drama happened even though in the lgl scene everyone knows that it happened like if you go to 5 chan which is like a forum don't go there by the way don't this is not an endorsement don't go there for your own safety don't go there but if you happen to go there hypothetically if you if you were to go there like ev like it's everyone knows what happened Everyone knows that Yutapon used to be a top laner. Everyone knows that Yutapon has the top 80 LeBlanc. It's just like, there are these things that everyone just knows. But like when I'm making a video for global audience, before Worlds, 
when people are like, I want to watch English content of these like lesser known things. I want to I know more. Those times I'm like explaining. I'm like really, really explaining to like a five-year-old, like LGL, an LGL five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying to like an LGF five year old all those things that happen because yeah that's why it's great learn new things about the team but yeah I, as I said in the video too I want to have like a second kind of like a second part of this like my plan is to have it like just before worlds like an eight probably I have like I wanna drop one more on October eighth, which is basically just before the uh, like the GGS VBS game. I wanna have one more for uh, October eighth. That is basically just like ten minutes. Like it needs to be under ten minutes because this is gonna be the video when I'm like, hey you, the world is starting in two days. So here is the video. Watch this. You have 10 minutes. I know you have 10 minutes. I Don't lie to me. You have 10 minutes. If you have 10 minutes, watch this video. It's gonna be like the super short one. Like, like, like gonna be like fire, fire round. Like, don't you not hear? Up and uh, get up on. And it's gonna be like a super fire round. And also I'm gonna probably have more information about the team. Right now, I, I, I think I, yeah, I said this in the video as well. I said this in the video too, but uh, right now, what what hap what's happening is that since Yutapon is in China for Asian games, the team in Japan or in uh, Korea, sorry, the team in Korea is like having this like mixed screams. So right now, DFM is uh, screaming with Upper Man Top, Steel in the Jungle Area, Milan, Milan AD Carry. And the uh, harp support, so they have both Upper Man and Milan in because Utapun is not there. So right now, both of them are screaming. But before Utapun went to China, BFM was uh, screaming with Upper Man top and uh, Utapun in the carry. Yeah, so that's what happened. I, I expect uh, at least like a few. I don't even know. I I'm like. I don't expect with my logic that Utapon would try to play a few top lane games in Screams. I would expect, but at the same time, Utapon was like very, very vocal. Like he said multiple times that he doesn't like top lane. He doesn't. He he plays top lane all the time in solo queue, but he doesn't like top lane in, a, in like a stage. So he was very vocal that he doesn't want to play top lane on stage. So it's also possible that he was like, yeah, just don't, don't please. So I, I don't know how the screams are going to go after it, but also before Asian games, I would assume that Yutapon really wanted to play AD carry because he's going to be AD carry at Asian games. So I'm not surprised that so far Upperman is playing top lane and Yutapon is playing AD carry. Milan is also getting some experience because right now he is screaming with Upperman. And I wouldn't be surprised if after Asian games, we would see at least a few games of Yutapon top. I wouldn't be surprised. But what's gonna be the final roster? No one really knows. No one really knows. Obviously what's gonna perform better in screams. Still though is spamming cause actually we have seen Arya today. We have seen Harp today. We haven't seen Steel today just yet. So let's watch Steel playing a stomach. Kazix. Let's watch some Steel Kha'Zix who is in this game. Oh, why? Okay, we have... Oh, all right! We have some pretty fun matchups from the looks of it, from what I can tell. So, first of all... I'll give me one second. We have none other on Steel's team. We have JJ King, the real JJ King playing Fiora, the Fio like the best Fiora in the world, JJ King. 
the best Fiora in the world, JJ King is playing Fiora in this game. That's pretty hype. And we also have, I think, one more, right? Okay, move this guy. And Goliath, who used to be a player for uh, in ERLs, and then before that in an awesome. Playing the RAL. What's the, I don't know why the client is not working. It just, I mean, I know why it's not working. <laughs> It does happen from time to time that the client is just not one just doesn't want to work. I'm, I'm not surprised, you know. This is what I wanted to say. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> we have done against the Frau Hong. Okay, this is actually a pretty insane match. Kaisa is Kaisa, right? Are you ready for the reveal? Are you ready for the reveal who is in this game? Because there's a quite a lot of people. Okay, we have, yes, the real JJ King, who is known to be the best Fiora player in the world. Best Fiora player in the world, known uh, for the, f used to be the super servers, like best Fiora player. Everyone knows him. I think I even spectated him even back then in, um, in Worlds, 2020 Worlds on the super server. <coughs> By for the best Fiora player. Even though nowadays, <clears throat> nowadays a super server is kind of a joke. He is now playing on the Korean server. So that's the official, the real J J King's Fiora. We also have uh, Kha'Zix with the uh, steel, and we also have Goliath on the rail, who is. Uh, from what I've seen, used to be on Gnome Stream, then uh, played a little bit on ERLs. Or maybe they're not ERLs, maybe they're... I don't even know if this is still TCL or Roared in uh, e um, EMEA Masters. Whatever. He was playing a little bit in Europe as well. Now back in Korea, he's free agent. And on the enemy team, we have uh, Shao Hao against uh, Steel. We use anyone's legend. Uh, jungler, we have also the scout, legendary scout playing the legendary raised, and uh, we also have Nongshim substitute bot laner, Vayne on the Kaisa. So we have a nice little balance. Oh my god, don't tell me that. Don't tell me. I was like, there is no way that JJ King and Sphere is gonna get first blooded right away. Yeah, we have a nice little balance of pro players from around the globe. Yeah. Basically, there's the, the queen is like the most bizarre pick. I have no idea how the Fiora queen matchup works. But yeah, once again, this is JJ King's Fiora. I would be shocked if he loses his lane. I would be shocked. And again, not just any Fiora. That's actually JJ King. The world's best Fiora. Actually the world's best Fiora in this game. I would 
be surprised if he loses the lane. There is no way, right? Now we shall how here on the uh, actually also steel. We have a little bit of a brawl behind the enemy lines. So is this a bot lane? Is is Vayne gonna get a kill? Or is gonna be Brom? Brom is the first one, but nice little steel. Oh no, steel died. Steel just died to Saha. What just happened there? Oh, the camera was not even looking. I mean, steel was like really deep into the jungle, so not surprising. <laughs> he was playing with fire, or rather stone, earth. Because that's Talia, that's the joke. But this happens, scout. Trying to solo bolo, they're calling. Oh no. Still maybe found out once again. So this time around, Akali is somewhat of a more reachable range of scout coming in, so is the Akali. Akali is though very low, even the, even the supports are drawing the, the fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Playing with the earth on the fire. That's the nation that attacked. Which in case, no, Steel was the one who was attacked. Actually, he attacked. He just dis got destroyed while be attacking and he is the same scenario here. So, yeah. Yeah, Talia just crushing the poor bug with the stone once again. Now two kills for Shahal. Early game is not in a favor of Steel. Let me just say that. Early game is not in Steel's favor. But I, I trust in Fiora, okay? No one else. I trust in Fiora. There is no way that JJ King loses the lane with Fiora to anyone. No way. Impossible. Impossible would break the space time con the oh no. Oh no, nice the nice the queen. Nice the queen who's harassing poor steel. What a jungler has to do to leave them alone. I'm jumping out now I call you steer. They really wanna get some revenge and meanwhile actually Fiora was able to get a lot of form on the top side. Nice little lead. Is the one that's gonna be for this Fiora. Oh yeah, and trying to also uh, not necessarily freeze the wave, but making sure that um, well, the minions are getting lost. The queen, queen losing so much here. What is queen doing? I'm, I'm just looking at the minimap, by the way. What is queen doing there? Queen lost so much. As I am just saying this. Her teammates are uh, not in a similarly bad situation. Brom got another kill though. Brom got another kill. There comes Steel. Immediately Shao is flashing out. Oh no, Vayne on the castle. Flashing in for steel. Oh no, no, no. Fruits! Fruits! You know that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's some summoner's rift experience. Or how was this? How was this a meme? It was a normal. This is normal summoner's rift experience, I think, yeah? Right? They're just a normal summoner's rift experience. Not even Fanny, oh my god, not even Fanny farm for steel. And there is the queen, like, why is everyone focusing down on steel? My man is getting absolutely destroyed now. Finally, there is some help from JJ King. As all well, diving in, okay, Team Blue, alright. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but this is only one kill for Shaohao, double kill for Shaohao. Okay, uh, I, 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 think, I think this game might be over, you know. I'm not one to advocate for, uh, for toxicity. I'm not one to uh, just foolishly say a game is over when it's actually quite, quite unable. I'm just getting bored. But I have a feeling this game may, may, may just be over. You know what, never end, never end, no. I can't lose hope. If anything losing hope, I can't be the one. I can't lose hope. Steel is gonna somehow get back into the game. True to his name, stealing a dragon or baron. If this game goes into 20 minutes. 
stealing something while level 6 available for JJ King. Level just JJ King is gonna destroy. Oh, Rao? Hold on to the brawn. Come on. Steel Zola game has not been the greatest, and it seems like they're just gonna put some more gold into it. Give some kill to some. Oh my god. Samira ultimate oh, immediately, immediately after Otting has missed Kaisa getting the kills on the road. Now the bot lane is behind as well. Now the bot lane is behind as well. In the words. Oh no. Oh no. In the, in the words of Baos. This is just a disaster. This is just a disaster. <laughs> if you're Jay taking, <laughs> you know what? I stand by my word. Stand by my word. I said that there is no way that JJ King would lose any lane on Fiora. JJ King is not losing lane, alright? <laughs> JJ King is not losing lane. I stand by my statement. Now with that being said, only question is how are we gonna survive until 20 minutes? So Steel can steal a Baron. And that's our next objective. How do we survive until 20 minutes? Steel needs to steal a Baron in this game. I have, I have a hunt. Oh no, he's also go he's going once again for the invades. So somehow he's already here and the ultimate from the summer is just getting her killed once again. Ralph following along as the team is just so late to the party. Okay, uh, still has been found out actually. Oh, you, you, I don't know how the wall works. And still dies as well. I don't know how the wall works. I was like, does it grand vision? How? But I guess they knew he was there already. Okay, I think five more minutes left from this game. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling we're gonna watch something else in five minutes. Are they, yeah, they're still they're still this look cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Another kill. Yeah, I think team, team Blue is probably just like looking at their watches. Oh, by the way, just looking at the score, I, I just thought about something. I'm, I'm, do you watch a... I mean, a, maybe? I don't know, probably not. But there is Asian game going on. There is Asian game going on. The esports part is gonna start like 25th, I think. League of Legends is gonna start, start 25th. But there's already Asian games going, like with the... All kinds of traditional sports, and I was watching uh, the women's uh, women's soccer, and oh my god, China beat uh, Mongolia 16-0. If you've ever watched soccer, you know that it's very rare to even see like 10 goals in a game. China beat in soccer. It's not like baseball or something. China beat soccer in soccer Mongolia 16-0, and. I just go to Vable, like what are the reactions? Some someone really said on just like under the thread on Vable. Someone really said that uh, I, I I thought like when I saw the score, I thought that was a League of Legends score. <laughs> they, they were like, oh, I I, I seen 16 0 for China. I'm like, yeah, there's a Chinese League of Legends team. And then they were like, oh wait, this is soccer. <laughs> oh, Jay Taking, my boy, Jay Taking just beat the Jace. Just be scout! JJ King! I told you! I told you! I told you! JJ King! I told you! This is not over! Not over! Never say it's over till I'm breathing! Racing to the moonlight! Oh no! I, oh! 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 JJ King! JJ King! Oh my god! Actually doing it. Let this tongue coming through. 
So that's you doing it. No more kills. I told you! No, that guy's actually just the best Fiora. It's not even it's not even debatable. Actually just the best Fiora in the world. He made a name for himself on the super server. But yeah, now even on even on the Korean ladder, just absolutely popping off left and right. I still expect the so the surrender vote. <laughs> Actually, I even expected more. I'm gonna surrender, and and just afterwards, your king should just be like, "That's just team beef. Just team beef. Not my problem. Get me out of here." Oh my god! Scouts, Jay's damage is quite high. Maybe actually, oh, there's 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 your king. There's your king. One key for there's your king. One key for there's your king. As Rel maybe going down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Ultimate is gonna be back up soon for uh, Fiora. Just hear me out. It's this game actually way. Already gone FF15. Already gone FF15 actually. Now that's the real question. Now that's the real question here. Cause like this is like one of those games like realistically I am like yeah this is over, but like some part of me if I'm like JJ King, some part of me is like I can carry this you know. Okay maybe actually never mind. F F F F F F F F. All right GG. I expect I expect the message there soon. I expect the surrender vote. I mean, the surrender vote is definitely gonna happen, but I'm, I'm highly s suspecting that it's gonna be a successful surrender vote. They're not surrendering this yet? It's happening. Massive ultimate duel from the rail and just as I'm saying this, they, they have to find like the best possible fight they could and Akali gets a kill. But I think this is just over. I think this is just too late. They found the best possible engage you could. And even that was not enough. Oh my god! Two to two! Actually two people said no to the surrender vote. Alright boys, we're we are here in we are here in for we're here in for, for a few more minutes. <laughs> Two people said no to the surrender vote. The trusting that much. JJ King Fiora. Those two people probably feel pretty silly right now. Imagine after you clicked in, no. See this landscape. Oh, actually, I don't have one kill, but. I wanted to get a uh, gift too to uh, Shahao. Especially one one of them was picked up by uh right scout. Well 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 can't surrender now because you just unsuccessful surrender the fifteen. Well 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 Okay, one more death to steal. One more death to steal and he's hitting the Baba Spike, alright? Actually, JJ King is there. It's back again. Only one is kinda can kill. Okay! JJ King teleporting, JJ King teleporting. JJ King, one. JJ King. 
to day taking. Oh, I mean, I guess yeah, he can fight a Brom. Oh no, never mind. Stun. The stun was so crucial. Yeah, the stun was so crucial. Give one more death. Come on, steal. One more death. Is it here? What? Okay. Steel has got the power spike. Steel has got the power spike, guys. It is so Jover for team right now. It is so Jover. It is just massive Jover right now. Hobo Spike is here. Absolutely no chance. Team Blue losing this game now. Absolutely no chance. There you go. Team Red members shaking in their boots from the thought of facing this Kha'Zix now. Okay, first. Who's gonna be the first victim? First victim, Kaisa or uh, Sao. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Never mind. The surrender mode still fails, what? 3 for 1. Which means like someone didn't vote. It can't really go through. Okay, now, but now, but now, never say it's over. Okay, triple kill for the for a scout. Can they get the can can scout get a panther here? I don't, I don't think he really wants that. He's just going for the nexus. He just like, get me out of here. Scout is just get me out of here. <gasps> oh, this is far too, far too long gone. Someone look at the panda here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the king. Come on, steal one. Steal. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is happening? Okay. Carl got some kills, I guess. Kaza, 1v3. Okay, Carl got another one. But Carl is actually gonna get quite strong from these kills. How many like shot dango that was? Like, 400 here, or maybe like they reap the. Yeah, maybe, maybe they got like the other ones before, but. My god. The shot that. Oh my god. Camera just panning on the. <laughs> what? We're c this game. <laughs> Wait, is it like, wait, I'm, I'm trying to think, who was, the, wait, is this just like, but the C9 comes from CSGO, no? Or does it come from League? Actually, I don't even remember. Is it from CSGO or League? Because, like, I remember in Overwatch, in Overwatch, there was also a similar term, but I don't think that was the London uh, Fire, Spitfire. I don't think that was the London Spitfire who was C9. I don't know it was, but in Overwatch, we had something similar situation. Oh, it, it is then. It is the London uh, Spitfire who was a C9. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think it was... It's been a while since I watched Overwatch, but... Yeah, I was like, I remember it from Overwatch, but like, it was like it was the London... The, the Spitfire who was a C9, so another game is obviously the C9. Okay, what is happening here? JJ King died, though. I'm still falling along. Nice, it's finally gonna be the, the final throw. Okay, okay, it's, it's finally over. 
It's finally over. I'm not. I'm no longer breathing. GG. <laughs> oh, this game. What was this game? Oh my God, Kurumi, Kurumi. What do you think about this game, Kurumi? Kurumi, what do I think about this game? I agree. Why is the camera not working? Now it's working. Should we watch Vivid? BFM coach on Leblanc? He has been spamming Leblanc actually. Let's, let's, I'm kind of curious what he is uh, cooking up. I'll just search out here. Where is my application? He's, oh yeah, he is playing the technology. So that's the uh, DFM coach, Vivid. I was just curious, but he is. He is playing the new technology, the top lane in the LeBlanc, which is not a new technology. Utapon has been playing this for little months. I'm just saying, Utapon has been playing the top lane LeBlanc for little months. By the way, this is super funny, because like Vivid is a support originally. He is originally a support, but it would be really funny if he would just like sub in for DFM, playing the top lane LeBlanc. Okay, I guess. Hello, Miss Fish. Hello, hello. Perfect timing. This is perfect time to join the stream because this is a game that literally doesn't have any, like, it doesn't have any indications. It just doesn't make any sense because you're watching BFM Coach. Oh, we are watching BFM Coach getting a solo ball on the top lane LeBlanc, though. Come on, camera. Don't do this to me, camera. What is happening here? Camera decided that the top lane was not interesting enough, so we instead are gonna watch the ball lane, but there comes. There comes the kill! The kill is there and even though he has traded, Vivid gets the kill in the top lane into LeBlanc, the new technology that's coming out from the oven. S yeah, okay, so we'll I want to do something. What, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, just check out this game. What is this? What is even Vivid Zelo? Diamond 1 right now. But he has been cooking up uh, this little LeBlanc thingy for a while now. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, this is the second game only that plays. Is it? I don't know why. My, my widget is bugging. My widget is kind of bugging. What is... My internet is dying, I think. Crazy. Yeah, the directed camera is kind of bad. Um, yeah. But my internet is also not the best. My reach is just, just dead. I, I haven't even edited the new pros. Haven't even edited the new pros. So maybe we're missing, missing some of them. Let me just very quickly check out who are some new arrivals. The Wunder, as everyone knows about. We have loud, some loud members. And we have some new players in this server. But yeah, I mean, I'm just having this game as like a waiting for someone else to join a game. I really want to watch Steel, if I'm being honest. Upper man playing some Rumble. And I really want to watch Steel because I, I, I have done, I'm going to be honest with you. I have done Steel quite dirty for the last game. That was not my intention to watch Steel playing the last game. That was quite dirty. Most of it, yeah, I, I know all the NAF counts. <clears throat> all the NAF counts I know. Just like Loud arrived like um, recently. Some of the TL members arrived recently. There is also Fnatic arriving, G2 arriving. Yeah, Loud is there, Loud is there. R7, I think, not yet. Loud is there, I have some accounts. 
I'm gonna add, add those accounts after this game, probably. To my list of accounts. But it's like, they're still around diamondish. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm spectating BFM on this channel. Respecting BFM. And the uh, BFM is like way above diamond now, it's like masterish tier. So, they're probably not gonna be matched just right away with all those um, pros. Probably it's a little time. Maybe Wunder is high enough because like I've seen Wunder in like high games. But uh, probably Loud's gonna take a little time to reach master. Yep, for now. I haven't had like I haven't had I haven't had the accounts in a while. Cause like I used to do that alone for DFM at least. And this was the first year when uh because I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. In previous years, somehow during my streams and maybe even on Twitter, sometimes I was kinda complaining about how the tracking the pros site is quite slow, sometimes not having like mis mismatch. The track from the pros side, I, I was complaining about the, oh, sorry, I was complaining about the site is not being super accurate and being kind of slow. And this year, uh, I was contacted by them. <laughs> I was uh, contacted by them, like helping them to find some accounts. So I did, I did my job, and I, oh my god, maybe this is gonna die down here. Oops. So this year, I, like, I helped them. I, 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 um, I, I was like the one who was finding out the DFM accounts. So I was helping them with the FM. I haven't helped them with others. My main, like my main focus is the FM always. Yeah, the FM is hundred percent correct because of that. I haven't I haven't checked new accounts in like quite a long time. I've been spectating, and then I made my the FM video, which is I heard good. <laughs> Like one of those, like when, when you see on the site, you know, when you see on the site. Also, oh, this is like the first time, no, not the first time, but I, I very rarely see Nafri. I very, very rarely see Nafri. Because I guess, like, she is not too good. Is it true? It's like Diamond 1. But, like, when I go to Master, like, lo literally no one plays her. I don't. In Master, I haven't seen a single Nafri. But yeah, it's, it's like one of those cases when, on, like, on certain sites, you can see that, like, uh, that's what the customers said about us, and just, like, full positive notes. In the same veins, I have heard the DFM video I made yesterday was pretty good. Yeah, so I was making that one. I was uh, kind of covering a little Asian games before that. I was spectating a lot. So yeah, I was like busy with all kinds of stuff. I haven't really kept up with the new accounts. I probably should. I probably am gonna look around. Maybe tonight when DFM is not playing anymore. So I'm, I'm probably gonna do some work on that. But to my knowledge, this is just the... Uh, some of the players are arriving around now. What's the mad lion? like Karzy had COVID. Asian games have started kind of. We had uh, the opening ceremony, which is kind of funny. Because we already had games. Just like, like we already had some... Like soccer was there. I think, uh, I think uh, ping pong was there. We had some games already, but today was the opening, official opening ceremony. Today was the official opening ceremony. I, uh, I uploaded actually, when Team Japan was entering. Yeah, the patch is really, really weird. I know that they didn't have access to the TR for quite a long time, because, like, I, like if you don't know, there's a little little information nugget if you don't know like how this works is there are like several tr servers oh my god what's happening double for what is happening in this game Noth Nothary and the gwen both of them are quite strong right now back to the tr though 
So in case you don't know how TRs work, there are like several TRs worldwide. There are some in America, like it's always in like the like in the city of the headquarter kind of. So that they're like in there are there are in Berlin, there are in Los Angeles, there are in Shanghai, there are in uh, Seoul, which is like where all the where Korean service also so whatever. But there are always like in the headquarters. And whenever there is like world, for example, it was like like last year when there was a world, you could see the TR moving with the where, wherever world was. So, and also like they played the champions queue on TR, one of the TRs, and that's why the champions queue location was also moving. Like it was in the west coast first and then the east coast when world was moving there. So they are moving around these TRs, but the thing is there are like several TRs around the world. And uh, the thing is, uh, there was not a single public TR on 13.12. So when the, this news came out that Asian Games were going to in 13.12, not a single TR was in 13.12 publicly. Now that that there was like still reserved in China because like China has like their own TRs. Everyone else is like their own, and basically the Tencent TRs are a tiny bit different. So. They have their own TR, some like m multiple TRs again, the multiple TRs. So and only they had like a very, like they had like a reserved TR for Asian games, that like the Chinese uh, bootcamp team could uh, scream, but also just each other because no one else was there. And at first they were like, only you you get access to this TR if you come to Hanzo, which is like most teams arrived like yesterday. So they were like, you get only access if you come here yesterday. Or like, come here to Hanzo. And Korea was like, no, this is bad. What the hell are they doing? So after Korea was uh, kind of complaining that like, what the hell? They got access remotely uh, to the TR. But originally it was like, you only get access to the Hanzo TR, which is the only TR currently on 13.12, if you are in physical in Hanzo. So anyways, Korea got access that as well a little bit later but uh, they got access to that and now they could scream i guess a few games but it's really weird because who you were screaming like maybe you get like some pros or not at worlds from korea like scream with them but it's, it's really weird like who are you screaming china had like china had an actual second team who just their purpose was to scream against the main team I, I don't know what's the case in Korea. I don't know what's the case now because, um, like, Recap was uh, streaming. I'm, I'm planning to translate everything that Recap said in the stream. He was like streaming for like, like ten minutes or something. It was like real, like a, IR, like a camera IRL stream. Recap was uh, streaming for like uh, ten minutes. He was saying that uh, they could scream a little on the 13.12 on like the Hanzo TR. So they said that they could uh, scream there. But yeah, not many. And I don't even know who they're screaming. I guess Japan... Who, who can even Japan scream? I don't know, maybe like Taiwan. They are in like different brackets, right? I think so. No, Taiwan is should meet Japan if Japan gets out. But me, I don't even know. I don't even know who they're screaming. But yeah, anyways, now they can scream. They have uh, practice rooms. They can scream on uh, the 13.12 TR. Here's the story. Yeah, it was, at, at first everyone was like, there are no public PRs. So what is happening? And after that it was like that. Uh, they said, oh, we, we have a secret TR for that still. Because the Riot is like not really keeping TRs, I think. They're s reserving some TRs, but it was... 13.12 was such a long time ago that they didn't... Uh, I, I don't think they really expect... There, there were no public TRs for 13.12. It was just like one like secret one. Well, then they can't, because they have to be physically in a Hanzo. To get the like the the thirteen point twelve TR, the Hanzo TR. Maybe they can get like like some like like athletes, like actual athletes, like uh, like soccer players, 
Maybe they can ask like the stock of players. Stock of players. Hey, can you can you help us out a little here? <laughs> can you help us out? Just click this button. Just just pick Yumi. Just pick Yumi. Just pick Yumi. Like like the for the the handball players, just pick pick Mundo. It's kind of like it's kind of like like a handball. Just pick Mundo. It's, it's, it's the same it's the same principle. Throw something. <laughs> yeah. Still red licorice. You uh, Olaf. How are they not surrendering? Team Blue should surrender because there are other matches I want to watch now. Oh, whoops. I am just waiting for Arya to play. I don't want to watch Arya now. I also want to watch Steel afterwards, but... Arya is in queue! Yeah. After this game, you can watch Arya! He is in queue! I think so. Uh, I'm just reading your uh, Discord message back. <laughs> and I'm very lazy to reply in text. Oh no, Arya is not online. No, Arya went to sleep. Oh. Sad. I mean, I probably have something I can check available. I don't know where they upload the photos. Uh, I don't... not Flickr for sure. I don't know where Apple uploads actually their photos. Definitely not Flickr. I, I don't know what's the Chinese equivalent of uh, Flickr. Not that many. I think only L LEC and LCS has. But the Japanese one is not official, it's just like I know the guy. It's like we follow each other. Or I think I follow him as a he definitely follows me for sure. <laughs> uh, but I, I know him, I just know he's a photographer and he was there. It's not like official. Are we sting an FF? Asking has oh wait, SK has really? Oh, yeah, still yeah 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 and I remember I I actually even used LA one. Oops. I even used LA one before. Is the surrender vote coming out now? I mean, props to Vivid for trying out the top 80 LeBlanc. Not confidence inducing as of right now. That's the best way I could describe it though. <laughs> they are winning. There is that. But I'm not 100% sure that was uh, on the back. The top 80 LeBlanc in this game, at least. <laughs> oh, that's the judges did? Wait, are they just gonna finish? Oh, they are actually surrendered. Okay. GG's! Team. No hesitation, I'm immediately jumping into Steel's game. Arya seems to be bending, going to sleep. I'm gonna watch Steel though, because uh... I wanna be honest, last game I did Steel dirty. Oh, CFO is so nice. 
An Ole! Okay, a lot of people actually here for this last next game. Not sure if it's gonna be the next loss, but definitely the next. Josh joining in. So we have Shun from CFO CFO. 80 carry. Still, let me just. Okay, there's so many people here. So many pros. And also, we have Marine. The, the, the Zach, by the way. The Zach is Marine. We have Gemini. That, an account that I probably. I mean, I knew this account. I knew the Chainsaw Man account. I don't know what's wrong with my tool. I know so many of these accounts. What is happening though in this case? Because I'm gonna update these names because so many of these accounts I know by heart. Why? It's like, why, 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 what, what? We have Marin here, the legendary Marin on Zack. We have a uh, Steel Abyss on the Jordan. We have CFO. Gemini. On the Blitz rank, still uh, stole his role. Wow, that was such a wow. That's rhyming all the way. Gemini is just dying as I was talking about him. That's rhyming all the way. And that's for Team Blue. We have Ole. I'm not, usually I'm not writing FA, I just didn't change my app. We have Shun. Yes, yes, yes. And we also have. I think those are the names that people don't recognize. There are more, more pro players in this game for sure, but that's the one that you need to know. And as we join in, unfortunately, I've, I feel like I've did. St I feel like I've done still dirty the last game because he didn't have the greatest performance. And I'm not sure if this is the game to redeem himself because I just look at the scoreboard joining in this game, and what I see is Steel is not having a single kill just yet. Team Red is not doing the greatest, and the leasing is 401. Am I just gonna double down on him? Please no, please no. I don't, I don't want to do my boy steal dirty. I don't want to. I hope not. I truly, truly hope not. Because quite possibly this is the last game we're watching. He's still losing this and I'm pretty sure he's gonna queue up for one more. But if if he is winning this and I'm, I'm fairly certain that he's just gonna go to sleep. Like, what's the time in Korea? Like, it's like uh, 2 a.m. in Korea right now. Which is good. Prime gamer times. No complaints. It's prime gamer times. And sometimes I'm in the first few days, like they kind of they they got better. Let me just they got better. Oh, nice kill from the max. Sniping down the the blank team red. A little bit of oh still the ultimate coming out. As oh no, oh no, at least the trade kill. The next, at least gets a kill, but your next one gets a double. Oh no, disaster strikes once again. And this is one of those games when afterwards I'm pretty sure Steel is gonna go for the second round. <laughs> I, I don't think Steel is gonna sleep on this game. But yeah, so, my story. When DFM arrived to Korea, I have seen the play players playing until like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. They were playing until like super late. And uh, they like slept like a few hours and then back to queue. Nowadays they're kind of going to sleep around 2 to 3. So they're they're getting better. They're getting definitely better, healthier. Hello. Oh, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Last game we watched Steel. It was quite a bad game, if I may say so. Last game, it was not a great game from Steel. Now, in the hopes that I redeem himself, I'm spectating him again. So far, it's not a great, not a great game from him once again. <laughs> okay, let me say this: he still wins here. That I'm also gonna go to eat. I'm also saying goodbye to you, everyone in the chat. 
But if Steel loses this one, I'm fairly certain if Steel losing this one, I am 100% sure that he's not gonna just give up and he's gonna queue up once again. In which case, I'm also gonna not give up and still spectate him. So that's the deal. That's the deal. I mean, the top side is not doing great in this game. I don't know what happened in the game, by the way. I've just seen like a lot of kills uh, from the scene. And Marion on the Zack was not in the greatest shape. So maybe that's just like a few failed dives from Team Red. As a Blitzcrank played by Gemini. CFO Jungler. Also goes down. Flashing from Nephilius. Does it deal for steel? Yes. Yes. That's the deal for steel. That's the deal for steel. Oh, let me, let me. Yeah, that, that's the deal for steel. Gonna be going until there is a win. So he doesn't go to sleeping while weeping. Yeah. But John, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be kind of honest here with you all. I, I actually don't think this is a, like I don't want to flame world champion TXTL head coach Marin. I don't want to flame anyone here. You know, I'm definitely biased to, towards the FM players, so I don't want to flame anyone. No, I don't know. I, I, I don't have the, I don't have the, the skills to flame Marine. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't seem like one of those games that like really the jungler's fault. We haven't seen like the first few minutes of the game, but when I joined in, the Zach was already down, and what I've seen was. Lee Sim was like having 4 0 while still was like maybe 1 or 2 deaths. So I don't, I, I don't want to flame anyone, I'm just saying. No no bias, no bias. Vex will get a Panther? Yes. Actually, Marlin is gonna get a Panther. Actually, Marlin is gonna get one. The Zack. Zack Panther kill. <clears throat> so there comes Gemini's Blitzcrank. Oh no. I don't I don't know. I mean he's a jungler, he's a CFO jungler. There comes Steel. Steel's ultimate is available, but who is the ultimate is gonna be used as Mary? Oh there's the ultimate, there's the ultimate coming in on the turret to react to react on his day in there damage over no kills. There comes the Vex! There comes the Vex! Wait a second, you rushed it right. There comes the Vex! With the flank! Still going! Not stopping, there's a charm! Still goes in! Gets one! And the rest is the other one! You! You haters! You haters! You are keep doubting still! I don't... I never doubted him. I have never doubted him. Oh. Oh. Vert, Vert, Vex is getting the kill. Vex is getting 8 kills now. 8 kills Vex. 8 kills on Vex. Dark steel. Gonna be a Magi soon. 100% Vert. Vert, 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 Vert. vert, vert. The team images are proving a toss. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, nice, nice, that's nice. What team images? I can send you LEC trophy pictures by myself. I literally took pictures of it my myself. Sending me trophies. Oh no, Marin dies again. I don't wanna say. I don't. I don't wanna say. You know. I don't wanna say. I don't. I don't. I don't wanna say. I don't. I don't wanna say. I don't, don't wanna say. You know. Oh 
Okay, Vex, Vex, Vex. Okay, it's still on Vex. I, I'm, I'm still, I'm not gonna be a coward. I'm still keeping my, oh, oh no, oh no. I'm still, I'm still keeping my Marion Panda kill. Oh, there comes the Vex! There comes the Vex! One kill! One kill for the Vex. They're getting low, they're, they're getting very low, but there comes Ezreal. Ezreal getting a kill. Yes, alright. Least is down. Least is down. Team Red is quite low. Quite low right now. Quite low. Marin is not available for the fight. That's <coughs> usual. Or the Marin was standing there. <laughs> Mar Marin, 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 Marin just goes to split push. I mean, that's not a bad idea, actually. What? Oh my god, the police crap! Oh my god, Gemini! 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 CFO Jungler Gemini! The prediction from the Blitz Frank Q! Predicting the long when she's gonna go back. Pounding! My goodness! Team Red just popping up all on the back of Steel. What great setups from Steel. Amazing. That's yeah yeah. Actually wait, no, never mind. I shouldn't root for him. No, this guy's gonna play against Steel in the first game. No! 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 I just realized he's gonna play against Steel in the first game. He says so with the Blitzcrank. How do they see on the rail? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It just hit me. Reality just hit me. Happens. Relatable. This green jungle? Maybe there's a secret. Maybe there's a secret. Secret juice. Maybe there's a secret technology. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is like one of those better. Oh, oh, oh my god! Bathing him! Bathing him! Oh my god! Gemini bathing him! Actually, actually pretending that didn't see it. Boosh. He's walking around. Nope! Come in here. Okay, but they're getting kind of low. But there comes Zach. There comes Zach. All you need is a good OX. Marin! First kill for Marin! There you go. There you go. Everything is going well. Everything is going perfectly. Goldie is not in favor of them just yet. But it's fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. I mean, there are some CS differentials that are across the map. But the Goldie should be in their favor. The Shrell goes down. Who's by the way, uh, Ole? Could opting at him. I mean, I guess they had Oli as well. No, actually, Oli had good engages. Do I think the evidence made? How did this not work? PL then. Wait. Wasn't it like actually the TL way? Like 2022 or something? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's calm down. What is the next team fight? Which is brewing up. Brewing up near the Baron. Which is not actually the Baron. Baron, Baron has spawned. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, clean up some wards. Oh! Are you sure about this Lee scene? Oh no, oh no, has been found out. I mean, ultimate is all but no! Steel is not afraid, Steel is not afraid. Steel goes in, now comes Gemini. Steel may go down in this exchange, which just not happened yet. Such a good engage from Ole, oh no, oh no. Oh no, Ezreal is dead, Ezreal is dead now. Mari with the Zack, trying to deal some damage. Passive has been uh, activated, I guess. Passive, passive has been used. Mari also goes down. 
But to be fair, I mean the best is still alive. I can immediately start the Baron. No, steal, 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 steal the Baron. Steal, 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 steal the Baron, steal the deal. There comes ultimate in. Fax gets the kill. Steal, gets the steal, and steal the deal. Are you ready? Are you ready? It is about to happen. It is about to happen. It's going down. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe not steal. Maybe not steal. Steal is the Baron. Maybe it's not a uh, steal who steals the Baron, but the achievement of stealing the Baron from steal Zvex steals it away. The Baron is gonna go down. The Baron is going to Team Red. That's so great. That's so great and amazing. Unless only has something to say about it, but it does not seem like so. <gasps> the Blau jumping in. Okay, no, right. Okay, it's okay, don't worry. False alarm. False alarm. Absolutely no reason to worry. Absolutely no reason. False alarm. Very not, very not. Game is going as planned. As planned. Oh. Oh, wait, oh my god. If that worked, if that worked. Let's leave a spy close and they're still are gonna get the kill from the loose stuff. If that worked. <laughs> if you flash fast enough, this is gonna like bring the player across the pool? I don't exactly know how this works. If you queue first and immediately after. Can you even flash? I, I guess you just can't flash. I guess you just can't fly that, that would make the most sense. Oh no. Well, they did a quite good engage that kind of take down the Blitz Crank. And still goes and still also dies. Oh my god, no, it's a 3 versus 4. Even though Listen is dying quite rapidly. They're just pinging the dragon. They're just pinging the dragon. They're probably gonna rotate. <gasps> oh, flank? Flank from Renekton? Oh my god, immediately after the react on TP, do you see Team Red just immediately turning around? A lot of pings on the a lot of pings on the turret immediately turning around. Now Marin gets one kill, Vels gets another one, and they what was the Renekton try to push the turret? I would assume so. But like pushing the turret instead of giving magi stacks for the Vex, it must must not be worth, right? It just must not be worth. Like, well, a few more kills than Vex has look at this. 22 stacks! 22 stacks! That must not be worth. Renekton is recalling now, after like getting a turret, but it must have been Oh my god, even Renekton is gonna go down. Even Renekton is gonna go down as Gemini is back. So as still, who's gonna have the kill? Who's gonna have the kill? Probably should be the Vex for just the Magi. Actually, it's gonna be Marin. Actually, it doesn't even matter because one more assist kill or whatever and you're already max stacks on, ma on, on the Vex. Max stack on the Vex. Wow! I am shining today with rhymes. <laughs> Hiding today. Soon the max stack vex and steel steel is gonna come online. It's gonna happen. I can I can sense it's happening. Oh, nice little engagement with LeBlanc. Ultimate is available for still if they really want to go for it, but maybe don't even need that one. Never mind. Ultimate is coming out from steel. Just to make sure securing the kill onto LeBlanc. And actually, Team Blue has already tried to surrender. 3 for 1. Almost one more and would have been enough. Marin! With the solo kill! I told you, Marin actually also has a shotgun go now. <laughs> Mari with a kill! Solo kill and a four kills. And Vex oh my god, that's when that rank is huge, but not huge enough as slowly but surely. Ezreal is also getting fed. And by the way, Max stack Vex. All the stacks on the Vex. All the stacks. I have a feeling this game is uh, 
nearing its end. To the rest of it in. I mean, also, or either either that, or it has to do something with the 184 AD Midlane LeBlanc. Or is there no story? Sorry, that's just a sheep. Or just a normal LeBlanc in the Midlane 18 against the 15 1 Vex to the max stack Magi. I still have eyes though, so the fight is not gonna be that totally fair now. Two kills for the least thing, but didn't take too long for Team Red to get their first kill on the Marin actually to be specific. As still keep going after the ultimate is down, still gets the blown! And another one for the Vex. All the teammates took the Hex after Vex is already on full stacks. Next Hex! I should have said next Hex! Now the teammates can take the kill tax after Vex has reached max stacks. Another one to steal. I think this is the end. I think this is the end. Is it though? Or maybe not. There's no minions around. No minions around. This is not the end. This is by the way the last game I'm spectating because uh, from the looks, uh, let me just check one more time, but from what I've seen, the FM players were the event to sleep. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Every single DFM player went to sleep, so this is gonna be the last game I'm spectating. Actually, I lied. I just see Upperman is in queue. Upperman is gonna play forever though, so it doesn't count. But it's the last game I'm spectating because most of the DFM players have went to sleep already. Okay, okay, it's amazing. Oh, what a good ultimate from Steel. What a good ultimate from Steel. 20 years! It just got me so... Got me on... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, no, it can't happen. It can't happen. Because they surrendered! Oh my god! They actually surrendered! They surrendered! <laughs> they actually surrendered! Oh my god! Ima oh my god. Imagine how mad the Aphelios is right now. How, how was the surrender? It was a 4-4? Four, four, no. So Aphelios probably didn't even click the surrender. Just like 4 of them. 4 of the others. Or after they died, they just clicked the surrender. I'm pretty sure Aphelios is going to be really mad after that. I mean, I'm not saying that they can, Like, probably, probably he dies. But <laughs> what are those situations that you never know? happening okay anyways anyways this is it for today as uh, to my best knowledge the FM players have went to sleep my cat is also sleeping and Hina is hungry so I must eat something yeah all of them went to sleep except upper man but upper man never sleeps he plays until like 6 a.m. or something so yeah that was today's stream. Actually, banger game at the end. Actually, we finally got like a real banger game. Because like most of the time, it's either one side gets snowballed. If it's a D like sometimes a DFM player gets super fed. And that's like fun to watch. But it's really, really fun to watch a game when the DFM player is not getting fed. The DFM player starts the game really bad and just like turning it around. It is really, really fun to watch. So... Thank you all for watching the stream. I am probably gonna stream more tomorrow, yes, because tomorrow is 24th. I don't know how much I'm gonna stream on 25th because I'm gonna watch... No, it's, it's gonna be in the morning for me, so I'm gonna watch Asian games in the morning and probably gonna stream League of Legends, uh, like Korean Spectator streams in the night, the same time as now. So yeah. Probably gonna stream still, but tomorrow for sure, unless DFM has an off day, which is... I don't think they have an off day. I think they already had an off day. But if they have an off day, I'm gonna not stream. But, um, yeah. If DFM plays tomorrow, I'm gonna stream tomorrow. And whatever happens, I really wanna stream on the 25th at least, to just, like, talk about Asian games, whatever the ending is. Because, like, we already know, we're already gonna know after one day. It's, it's like, it's very fast. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And if you're here, let me also advertise my video that I know some of you may have seen, but if you didn't. So my YouTube channel, that's where I'm also streaming. I'm live, I'm streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. 
so you can choose whichever platform you like more. But on my YouTube, you can watch a new video. It's called DFM two weeks before Worlds. You can watch this video. I, I really wanted to make this under ten minutes. I failed. It's it's under twenty minutes though. So if you're new to DFM, if you don't know a lot of things about DFM, I talk like uh, for for the last like uh, for the last uh, five minutes. I talk about what happened to DFM before Worlds or before the bootcamp. Then I talk about screams for a few few minutes. And basically I talk about like the team formation for another few minutes. So, because yeah, like, th like this is uh, five minutes of what happened leading up to Agile finals. And then I'm talking about like other new stuff. So if you're new to the FM, if you want to know, if you want to know more about the team, why the changes were made, what happened during the changes, you can watch the first five minutes, but after that, just like just bunch of new information. So. Pajama. That's not even, wait, that, that's just, just my shirt. That's uh, just my sweatshirt. <laughs> just, uh, I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like a pajama because like, that's like a, like a little Poro hat. And then just like a little sweat, like a little sweater with like a hoodie. Kind of looks like it, yeah. Actually, I like this setting. But yeah, managed to watch this video. A little under 20 minutes. But after this video, you're gonna know everything about DFM. You're gonna be a DFM expert after this video. So, yeah, great video to watch. I can recommend. So yeah, thank you for watching once again the stream. See you tomorrow? Question mark. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe after. Maybe day after tomorrow. Sometime in the future. Bye bye.